Hello, hello everyone. We're back in Atlanta, back for another haul video. I know it's been a couple weeks. My sincerest apologies, we were busy in Orlando for a couple weeks. We're finally back, finally here on a Monday. So let's dive into what we've got here in the back. We definitely have some cool stuff to check out over here in the um, inventory of our trade stuff here. Let's take a look at this right side first. We've got an older castle base plate, looks like. Raised base plate, always good to see these. We've also got some castle elements here that somebody seems to have sorted out separately. Some rock panels, some stone wall elements, some wagon wheels and turret tops, very cool. Those are my kind of pieces, that's what I'm talking about. And some basic bricks there too, so that's, that's nice. We'll probably put these in the back, maybe part some of these out and sell them individually. We'll see what happens to those. Moving on, we've got some really classic Lego sets here, and they look like they're in fantastic shape, all complete, basically. Um, you got the Exxon gas station here. And Exxon is interesting because, you know, for a long time, Lego was partnered with Shell, and so that was kind of their go-to for, you know, buildings like this that would have a little Shell incorporation, but they also have an Exxon one from way back. I don't really see the year on this box from this angle, but very old, probably 70s, 80s. Um, actually, probably 80s, because 70s would be very, very early. But another one over here. We've got the Legoland Hotel being constructed. you got that flag that Daniel brought up on the uh, Rare Parts video not too long ago, so that's pretty cool. Uh, two road uh, plates with uh, a car repair and uh, a hotel being built. So that's super cool. Classic Lego. Very cool to see all these really essential elements from way back when. Another older set way back there is the police station. Probably one of the first police stations, set number 588. Super cool. Or police headquarters. It's the same thing. Has that rare antenna piece on the top. And a couple vehicles, some figures. Super neat. Another, like, just three amazing classic sets that you just, I've never even seen in the store before. Moving on, we've got a couple other good sets here. you got a corner garage. got a BB-8 that's a little bit beat up, not too bad. You got a Ninjago Zappy flyer there from the Lego Ninjago movie. And another vehicle from the Ninjago movie there. Paradisa back here. Priced at $40. I don't think it's complete. That arch seems to have fallen over a little bit. Um, one palm leaf missing. So a few little pieces here and there missing, but some cool old pink pieces. The original pink color. Pretty neat. Ninjago Dragon seems to have crash landed there. A little bit of Star Wars happening with the... Um, Cloud City Speeder, and you got the uh, Praetorian Guard here. A coal mech, one of the better coal mechs, actually. It's a cool one from a specific season of Ninjago. So I, we're getting there. We did a Ninjago watch party. Watched the first season, basically, so that was pretty good. Got kind of a hodgepodge of built sets here. Some dinosaurs, some city-looking uh, stuff. This one's cool. I like that architecture there. Maybe some friends stuff happening here. A little bit of brick heads. Maybe some mocks too. Like that, I don't recognize that road plate. Interesting. Down here we've got some built Star Wars vehicles. You've got uh, X-wing, Razor Crest, some Tie Fighters, modified. So a couple things happening there. Those could be repaired and put up for sale. Up here you've got a little bit of Harry Potter. Kind of a. Um, what was this called? Chamber of Secrets down there going on. Got the lava monster from Spider-Man Far From Home. Maybe got some other small Marvel sets happening here. There's a Marvel bike. Harry Potter box with the Gryffindor banner. Or not Gryffindor. A uh, Ravenclaw. I saw the bird. Not Griffin. A uh, Ravenclaw banner looks like. Got Ninjago dragon elements. You know, he's a complete dragon. He's just a little bit chunky. It's kind of a cool headpiece, though. Some more Ninjago small vehicles and a sea serpent dragon. That's pretty cool, too. Might have to get some of these at some point. Very nice. Um, got some white pieces back here. Looks like possibly a Star Wars ship at one point, but I can't quite identify exactly which one. Uh, moving on, you got the Taj Mahal. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. The roof removed, maybe just a few spires put back on. But a very cool architecture set. Definitely want to get one before it retires and gets too expensive. Got the Harry Potter banners 
mosaic kit here. So you can do all four of them if all the pieces are there. It looks like they are, possibly. So let's figure out what's the situation with that. Might be good to put that one out for sale built. Let's put that uh, over here. There you go. Another Harry Potter set. You got the Hogsmeade station with the Hogwarts Express. Very nice set. We've gotten a couple of these in lately. Ooh, a little bit of Castle from 2013, I believe. 2012, 2013. And uh, this is a good, good set. No figures, though. Those are the better uh, elements that you can find in here. The horse isn't bad, though. You got the Burrow. It's one of the uh, more recent versions of the Burrow, perhaps? I'm not sure. I think this is a more recent version. Could be wrong. They look sort of similar. I guess thinking by those tiles, it's more recent, though. A um, little bit of random stuff in the back. I think some of those are actually pre-existing. And then uh, some Guardians, and a little bit of Monkey Kid, I believe, too. Interesting. In this bin down here, we have more Harry Potter, and a couple modulars, looks like. I see at least a uh, um, Assembly Square, and a Boutique Hotel instructions on the right here. And it looks like those two modulars were just kind of dropped in here. So, a little bit of a tragedy, but we could fix them. They also seem to have lighting kit. So somebody gave up on modulars in a violent way. <laughs> we also got a little bit of Marvel down here. A little creator. A little bit of Indiana Jones. A couple of this. A little bit of Harry Potter. A lot of Harry Potter in this haul. Gonna have to mention that in the thumbnail. Um, some city figures. Some creator buildings. Oh, there's a Roman legionary in there too. That's a valuable figure. Very cool. Um, big stuff down there. Looks like some Marvel, some vehicles and broken elements there. Nothing too recognizable. Um, over behind the box of Harry Potter stuff, we've got some Millennium Falcon boxes of what it looks like. Although I think they might be empty, which would be kind of a tragedy, but those are cool boxes. All right, over here we have a couple of big cardboard boxes. We'll get into those in a second. We've got a Creator 3 in 1 Castle. The Dreams um, Shark Ship, which is a very cool build. Very cool to see here. You got the larger UCS scale Hogwarts Castle that got started. Maybe the parts are somewhere around here we could find them. And a custom mech. Looks kind of cool. But let's get into these boxes, shall we? Here we've got, oh. Barracuda Bay. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. The sails are kind of thrown in the corner over there, but you got the figures down below. You got the pieces to the left. The ship is, seems seems to be built in this configuration right here. And a little bit of a uh, older Harry Potter. Oh, that's a uh, that Diagon Alley. This is Brooks. That's a really cool. It's the sand blue set that uh, Daniel was talking about. That's super neat. Yeah, so a little bit of Harry Potter and a Barracuda Bay. So very nice find here. Ugh. Got a bunch of Disney princess here on the top, as well as what looks like a couple elves and some mighty micros from Marvel too. But uh, it's an interesting mix of sets here. Seem to be bagged up by set. Ooh, there's some elves. Very nice. The best way to get elf sets is when they're built like this, because then you're not paying the premium on the sealed prices, which can be very, very expensive and collectible. There's some more elf sets. And bags of just pieces and minifigure parts down there, too, so. Random stuff. There's some um, Atlantis and other things in there. Crazy. Interesting box. All right. We've got some more mixed stuff. I think this is mostly Harry Potter, though. Another burrow. Another Chamber of Secrets looks like. So more ha modern Harry Potter sets. Good to see. Looks like they have the figures too. Over here we've got, ooh, the Lion Knight's Castle with the figures. Very cool. This is a phenomenal set. I only have one copy. I aspire to have two one day, but it's kind of expensive. So if you need one, we've got one. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Maybe a few trees straightened up here and there, so great set. We've got one more box to check out here. Ooh, and a Millennium Falcon on the top. We've got a classic Batmobile down there, as well as some more Harry Potter. A lot of Harry Potter, this, this one. 
Uh, more Harry Potter books, some bricks, looks like Ninjago sets, a few more Star Wars ships in the bottom, and that should do it. So let's go check out downstairs. There might be some figures to look at. There's definitely some sets around the store to see too. One that caught my eye as we walked in this morning was the Catrum uh, 7R620, which is a cool Lego Ideas car, basically. this uh, I think this is a British brand of automakers that make these cool little sports cars. This is a very unique Lego Ideas set. Let's see what the price is gonna be. 140, not too bad, so. Cool Lego Ideas, number 14, pretty early on the list. One of the things we got over the past few weeks was a bunch of Star Wars collections. So you've got the Ghost, Imperial Assault Carrier, Star Destroyer, the Star Hopper, got the Conveyor Transport, very nice. Kylo Ren, B-Wing, just a bunch of great Star Wars sets that we haven't seen in a while. So very cool. There's a Phantom up there. If you want the original Thrawn figure. Got a few more up there. You got Krennic Shuttle and uh, Solo Millennium Falcon right there. A couple UCS sets here. Old Star Destroyer and the gunship. Got the old Millennium Falcon. I think that's pre-existing. You've got Welcome to Apocalypseburg, the awesome Lego Movie 2 set. Super iconic. One really special set that we got in, I think just this weekend, was the Titan from Overwatch 2, which was an unreleased set with a very rare figure. So if you're an Overwatch fan, this is uh, an extremely desirable set. I have no idea what, oh, 800 bucks. Yeah, for an unreleased set, that kind of is gonna command a more uh, high price. So very cool. And then, of course, a bunch more very collectible Star Wars sets. You got the gunship, uh, Sebulbo's, Anakin Sebulbo's Pod Racers, ATTE, Jack 14 Starfighter, Rancor Pit, Jabba's Palace, Jabba Sail Barge, the X-Wing with the uh, Yoda Chronicles sash, so a super cool promotional tie-in that is usually removed from Lego sets, so pretty cool. You got the Twilight down here, the old Jabba Sail Barge, Jango Fett's Starship, of course, or Jango Fett's Slave One, but yeah, lots and lots of great Star Wars sets just put out, very cool. Lots of as-is sets going to be making their way into the as-is set inventory. That's pretty cool. No figures, but still a cool turret build. There's also this Exoforce down here. I already have the big vehicle. I don't know if I have the mech, though, so I might have to pick this one up later. That's pretty cool. So let's move on to the figures over here. Got just a bin of random pieces. You got some 501st. You got some... Jurassic World, Spider-Man, Star Wars. A little bit mixed up here and there. You got some Iron Man with a, what was that? The ghost figure from Marvel. Scorpion's tail. Hulk is still in one piece, that's good. So just a bunch of figures, mostly Marvel and Star Wars, but definitely some other stuff in there too, like Ninjago. There's a nice vision. He's pretty valuable, especially with the Yellowstone. Pretty cool. Yeah, there's a Groot, nice Groot figure. Very cool, so a bunch of figure parts in there. That'll take a lot of organization. Chris did some organization last night and was able to get a few things uh, sorted out for us. He got some Marvel CMFs down there in the bottoms, like Wolverine and Storm um, and uh, Werewolf. So some cool figures there. You got some City Arctic in a bag right up in the top. You got some skeleton horses, ever popular. Got, what was his name? Uh, Nightwing, Nightwing. Not Robin, Nightwing. Uh, and then you got some Jurassic World figures here too. A couple of dinosaurs, different sizes. Dimensions discs. Some other good stuff in here. A couple figures, the mermaid and a Medusa down there. Oh, an Aloy figure down the left corner. We also got some blue coats, Malastar's favorite, very nice. Over here, another bin of random figures. Lots of stuff in here. Um, yeah, you got some Batman figures, Batman collection, Indiana Jones, Jurassic World. Looks like a bunch of superheroes, Marvel, a little bit of Star Wars sneaking in there too. Minecraft built figures. Ooh, some valuable Ninjago there too. Oh yeah, expensive Ninjago figures. There's the Time Twin, very cool. 
Very nice. Got the giant shark with that evil green. Got some Star Wars, Marvel, DC. Some great Star Wars troopers in here. Could do, I love those. I need to get another one or two. Oh, you got the my favorite version of Killer Croc with the giant hands. He's so cool. He was in our uh, DC top minifigures not too long ago. We posted that video, so that's pretty cool. You got a Rancor down there too. He looks like he's complete with fingers. You see all four uh, those removable fingers, so very cool. Another dinosaur, some Marvel, and some Star Wars. Looks like a Beast Boy with a, is that hair custom? Is he, he's got like a puncture in his chest too. Questions raised by that figure. Um, yeah, a bunch of Star Wars, Lego Movie, Toy Story, Indiana Jones, Jurassic World, ooh, a Lego City, Black Panther, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a bunch of great stuff. I really like the Rancor and the Killer Croc and some of those rare Ninjago were pretty neat. So some great figures gonna be added line very soon. You can check out all this stuff on etailbreak.com, of course. And that's about all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.